This week, while we're talking about imagination and art and how artists help us to make the world bright and to see all kinds of new things, I wanna share with you one of my favorite new stories called Maybe Something Beautiful, How Art Transformed a Neighborhood. And it's written by Isabel Campoy and Teresa Howell, and it's illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Maybe something beautiful. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way home from school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Ms. Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked, walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held his fingers up in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. And just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam, pow, the shadow scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Who are you, Mira asked. I'm an artist, he said, a muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a brush. Then come on. Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yowie! The wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others. Everyone painted to the rhythm. Salsa, merengue, bebop. Even Grandma's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood began a giant block party until the policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put down her brush. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. May I paint with you, he asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush and the music started again. Teachers and papas joined in, babies too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Color spread throughout the streets. So did joy. Wherever Mira and the man went, art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine, and everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful 
than they ever imagined. I like how the book goes sideways sometimes. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird, way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. What do you think that bird is? That looks like a dove of peace to me. And this book, you know, is based on a true story about a girl who wanted to paint beautiful murals. So that's just one story of how somebody made the world beautiful with their art and brought joy and life and music. Maybe something beautiful. I can't wait to see your art. <laughs>